Well, I haven't finished one thing and I'm starting on another. So I'm never really bored. I don't understand people. Uh, they keep saying, oh, it's so boring, this, so boring, that, anyway. Uh, my next project, uh, this is a remote control. And I have a PWM remote controller here. It's like a receiver. And this is the back of my solar panel. And there's an attachment to it. There are two lithium ion batteries. And there is a charge controller and a voltage booster board. And all of this would be to light some LEDs. This is a strip LED. I guess this would be about 2 watts. And I think the two batteries would supply about 10 watts. So if you figure uh, if you run it continuously, it will probably be four or five hours uh, before you drain the battery. I was using a much smaller solar panel before to try to charge the batteries. And of course it doesn't work, but I didn't have any solar panels of this size before. And even this might not work too well, but this is going to be an outdoor light. And uh, as soon as the weather is better, I'm going to go outside and do this. Basically, remote control, you can just aim at the light, uh, I mean the receiver, and you can turn on, you can turn on the LED strip. And because there are many functions, you can turn it to 100% brightness. Of course, now it's daylight. You, you, you don't really see the effect of the LED but the PWM controller you can is actually you can make it a dimmer and make it 25% use a lot less electricity so that's the appeal to me I actually was thinking of making my own but then you still have to get the receiver the wireless receiver so that's why I went and bought this and this is just a single color one is it's easier to um, to uh, wire and everything so I'm gonna go outside and show you what I am planning to do this is the solar dark sensing light that I made this is actually about the only one that will work consistently most of my other solar lights uh, either they don't last the whole night or they're dead including this one over here you see the small solar panel there that runs this remote light but most of the time it's not working maybe the switch is bad or something I'm not sure there's another one over there. I fixed that before, but uh, after a few months, it die. It would die again. So what I'm gonna do is just keep the wiring, take out the light, and uh, put the uh, other light that I'm um, the strip light. I'm gonna put it here, and the electro electronics would be over here, so it will be out of the weather. And then I'm going to use or put the solar panel over there where that small solar panel is. So it will receive maximum sunlight because this is facing south. Uh, just like the way I'm positioning all my other solar panels. So it will get uh, a good charge. And... Being remote control, I can turn it on from my house. It's not going to be on all the time, but I can turn it on for a couple of hours when I want to. So that would be a neat thing to do. This is my other LED light that is powered by a deep cycle battery inside. 
and this I made several years ago. It's still working, but it would be nice to have some remote lights that actually work. So that's going to be my next project. And as soon as all the snow goes away, maybe by the end of this week I might uh, start on that project. Alright, thanks for watching.